Michael Jeffries, man, for a CEO of a company, you sure are fucking stupid. So I don't usually do this type of video, but I have not cussed someone's ass out in a long time. Look at this dude's face. Like, what does that remind you of? Because to me, it looks like Precious must have sat on your face for a few days, and then Tyrone and all his friends must have ran a train on you like, dear lord. And then, of course, the reason why everyone's mad is because you have the audacity to make this here statement. I'm going to read it to y'all. I quote, In every school, there are the cool and popular kids, and then there are the not-so-cool kids. Candidately, we go after the cool kids. We go after the attractive all-American kid with a great attitude and a lot of friends. A lot of people don't belong in our clothes, and they can't belong. He also says, we hire good-looking people in our stores because good-looking people attract other good-looking people and we want to market to cool, good-looking people. We don't market to anyone other than that. Well, how ironic, Michael, that you look like a turd. You shouldn't even be allowed in your own store, bro. Perhaps you need to reevaluate what you consider attractive. But if you're going to base your clothes upon yourself, then I guess it's appropriate. Because Abercrombie and Fitch sucks. All y'all shirts got a big ass Abercrombie and Fitch logo with the logo so big and wrap right around the back of the shirt continue down the back of the pants. Like, <laughs> what y'all doing? <laughs> like, who the heck wears Abercrombie and Fitch, really? Who, name one celebrity, or cool kid as you would say, that wears your uh, Abercrombie and shit clothes. Nobody wears your Abercrombie and Fitch bitch ass thing. I can't even pronounce this shit. God. Speaking of shit, I think I've probably been in your store once in my life and it had this musty ass smell like someone took a dookie on all your clothes and all they had was your 68 year old man cologne to spray everywhere. I walked around for a few minutes, y'all skinny jeans look so damn tight. My balls started hurt. I was like, oh my gosh, I gotta get out of this fuck ass establishment. Yo, like seriously, why would you say that? Your your store is so freaking irrelevant. There were no fat people up here like, oh, Abercrombie and Fitch, you guys need to make bigger sizes because I just love shopping at your store so much. No! You guys remember Drake and Josh? That was the first time I heard the term prick. And it always reminded me of like this slight annoyance. Not necessarily something that causes damage or gets under your skin really, but more of that little cockroach in the corner. It's just gross and disgusting, like why do you gotta be here? Or you know when you're taking finals and there's that one fly in the room and every two, three minutes it's like, 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 like that little buzzing sound by you, like, like, like you're just trying to take your test and all, every two, three minutes, right? And it's like, boy, if I had a rag, I would Back the shit out that damn fly. A prick. That's what you are, Mr. Jeffries. I feel as though you don't care so much about money as you do simply fitting in. As though you were bullied in high school and you still can't get over it. Somehow you've ran into this business and you think you're on top of the world. But I suppose being an asshole is what makes kids cool nowadays, right? Picking on people, wearing the same clothes, getting pregnant, living in the same city your whole life. But you see, the real cool kids, they don't follow that. The real celebrities, the real famous people in this world, while you're trying to fit in, they're trying to stick out. But hey, what do I know? I'm just a kid making videos alone in his room. So comment what you think. Uh, till next Wednesday, I'm Mr. Good Booty.